Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. I don't know what that was. Anyway, um, if you're new here, I'm Sam. Thanks for joining. Um, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel if you enjoy this video or if you enjoy this video and give it a big old thumbs up. Just remember it's all free. It's all linked down below there or there. I'm not really sure. Anyway, um, we're going to be doing an empties video today. It seems like you guys like my empty videos. Uh, so I only have 125 subscribers as of right now and not 125,000, but 125. Yeah, you heard that right. So it would really help me out if you guys subscribe, but it seems like the empties videos is one of my videos that people actually enjoy watching. So I'm going to continue doing them. Uh, I don't do month to month empties because I don't go through that much product. I couldn't go through that much product if I wanted to. I don't have money to be buying those kinds of products. But I do collect my trash for a couple months at a time. And then I will share everything with you. And then tell you guys if I like it or if I did not like it. So that's what we're going to be doing. If that's something you want to see. If you want to see my trash. And if I like it or if I would repurchase it. Then please keep on watching. I love y'all. Let's go. All right. Hold on. Also, disclaimer, little tappy taps in the background or barky barks or meow meows. That's my babies in the background. They're obsessed with me. Okay? I probably should have did one sooner. Let me do my thumbnail because I haven't done it yet. Let me do my thumbnail. You ready? You do, you do the thumbnail with me? All right, that was enough. Okay, so here's my trash. And there's some more that fell out on the floor. And my dog's in the trash. Quit! Um, here we go. <laughs> I'm gonna try to be very fast about talking about these products because it is a lot. Because I did collect a lot longer than I usually do. But yeah, so here we go. <laughs> All right. Up first is the Tea Tree Skin Clearing Moisturizing Facial Scrub by, y'all, every time I do these videos, the amount of dust that's on them and gets all up in my face. So if you see that, I'm sorry. Anyway, um, this is the Body Scripts by Body, Body Prescriptions and it is a Tea Tree Facial Mask and it looks like that. I missed some and I dropped some in my trash, cool. Um, I used to use this on my face back in the day until I realized how freaking terrible something this aggressive on your face is. So do not use this on your face, even though it says facial. However, I will tell you, I used this on my body and I used this on my back and my butt mostly. I suffer from back acne and butt acne. Yeah, I'm laying on the table right here, right now. We're human. I'm human. You're human. So let's, let's be human together. Um, and I felt like this helped a lot in those departments, but I would never put this on my face. The ingredients alone I wouldn't put on my face. But other than that, I did enjoy it for my body and for where I suffer from acne on my body. I felt like it did a good job doing that. That being said, would I repurchase this? I got it from TJ Maxx or Marshalls for like $4.99. So that being said, I would only repurchase it if I was something to intend on using my body, but I have other things since then. So I'm not like going out of my way to like buy it. Um, but yeah, take that with what you will. Next is the Dove Men Plus Care Clinical Protection Clean Comfort 24 Hour Protection Deodorant. This is my deodorant. I live, eat, sleep, and breathe this deodorant. I love this deodorant. Yes, I know it's bad for me. I cannot use natural. I really need to try better ones. You don't understand. People are like, I love my natural. I don't stink. Yes, but it doesn't hold the sweat in. I need something to, I'm moist. There's perspiration here and I need it, okay? Please, if you guys have any recommendations on ones that actually hold the perspiration in, and I mean like a man, that's why it's men's deodorant. I want like perspiration protecting, good for you, but, but protects you from like running a marathon. So if you have that, leave it in the comments. Up next is the Function of Beauty Curly Hair Conditioner and Shampoo. This is not the one that you order, like they, they do everything for you. This is one you can buy out of Target. I enjoy these. I'm not in love with these. The last batch that I had was the purple. Y'all, this dust is getting all over me. 
um, is the purple one. I liked those better. Um, it comes with little drops that you can customize in here. If I come across the drop boxes, I will show you. But like I said, I don't know if they're in here or not. This is a lot in here. However, that being said, I wasn't the biggest fan of this one. I would not buy this pink one again. But if you have been in my channel before, you know that I am always testing out. Y'all, I'm sorry. There's so much dust in the air. I'm always testing out drugstore um, shampoo and conditioners. I also test out the higher end stuff. But I'm trying to find a drugstore shampoo and conditioner that is salon quality and helps my hair. So, but for a good price. I'm all about saving money so, over here. You know what I mean? Up next, we got the um, Instant Freeze Hairspray and the Extreme Hold 4. I got two of them. As you can see, I like these. I'm a fan of these. Um, I would repurchase again. Obviously, I did. And I went through both of them. So, there's that. Um, I, I love Aussie products in general. Um, next is the Original Activated Dual Solution Breath Rinse. Um, I'm pretty sure TikTok or Jaclyn Hill got me to purchase this and I was not a fan it like you it's like a double ooh, it's like a double top thing so you get like activated zinc ions block sulfur gas I don't know it probably helps with my breath yes but it dries you like when you do it you like it's so dry in there I'm just not I won't repurchase this I'm gonna be trying other ones that I have seen since then I'm not a fan of that one I'm trying to run through these really fast because I have a lot y'all um, next is the Earth to Skin Tea Time White Tea Cleanser Firming Anti-Aging Pore Refining. That's this here. I did enjoy this, but um, it wasn't my favorite. Like, I'm not running out to buy this right now, but I did not, like, I wasn't pissed off using it. Do you know what I mean? And I'm pretty sure the price isn't terrible on it. I don't have the prices to any of this stuff, y'all. Sorry. But there's that there. If you guys want me to start linking my products, that's just leftover. Like I was trying to use it up and there's some at the bottom so I put water in. But anyway, if you guys want me to start linking these products down below, just say the word in the comments and I will start doing that. But until someone needs it or wants it, I'm not going to do it. You know what I mean? So um, that's that. Like I said, it was a fine cleanser. It got the job done. It didn't strip me. It didn't make me feel gross. Um, didn't break me out. But also, I'm not running out to buy it. You know what I mean? Next, I have the um, Love Beauty and Planet Coconut Water and Mimosa Flower Volume and Bounty Sulfate Free Shampoo. That's it here. If you guys want to see how much I loved it, can you see? It's filled to here. I hated this. I hate the packaging. It's so hard to get it out, especially the conditioner in this. Hate it. This did nothing for my hair. It did not make my hair clean. It didn't. I, I'm not a fan, y'all. I will not buy this. I will buy stuff from Love Beauty and Planet again to try. Like I said, I'm always trying to find something for shampoo and conditioner, and that was just not it. That ain't it, babe. That ain't it. Next is the, sorry, this is really gross. There's stuff on this. This is the Briogeo Blow Dry Perfection and Heat Protectant Cream. Honestly, I don't remember it, so that means it didn't make a huge impact. Maybe it helped. Anything to help blow drying probably helped, but I don't think I remember this enough to know. Um, next is the... Old Spice Pure Sport Plus Hydrating Body Wash. This is my fiance's. As you can see, it is very full still. Goes up to here. She hates it. She hates the way it lathers. She hates the way it smells. She hates everything about this. Not a fan. It ended up in the trash. We're really good about not wasting around here. But when it's something just that bad, we're like, no. Absolutely not. I will try to find ways to make things work. Absolutely not was that going to do it for us. You know what I'm saying? Next is the Sephora Mask uh, Purifying Mud Mask. This here. Um, it's by the Sephora collection. That's it there. It just hardened up, but, um, by the time I was getting to it, I use this on clients and I also use this on myself. I'm a very big fan of this mud mask. I do enjoy it and I will repurchase this again if I come across it or when I go out to get more skincare. So I did enjoy this mask. Yes. And Sephora brand is, it's underrated. I don't know what is in here. That's all pink and gross, but anyway, it's underrated and no one, no one, talks about it. I feel like no one talks about it. Am I wrong? Um, I'm a fan of their skincare so far. Anyway, um, this is the Arm & Hammer First Standard of Purity No White Mess Invisible Spray Powder for the Body. Sweat Activated Odor Defense. This thing is slap full. Slap full. My fiance's again. She hated it. She wants, she's been trying to give me things to add to my empties, um, which is why I'm fuller than usual. Which is why I'm fuller than usual because she wants you guys to see things that she doesn't like or does like um 
and she wants me to tell you guys about them. So this here, she hated it, couldn't stand it. It burns. Everything about it is terrible. So if you're in the market for some Arm & Hammer, for some chafing or whatever, don't. This ain't it. This ain't it, babe. This ain't it. I'm going to have to wash my hands after this. This is soaking wet. Um, this is the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Strength and Moisture Leave-In Mask. Oh, yeah. I did, like, I need to bring this brightness down, huh? Hold on. Is that better? Probably not. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, I did enjoy this. I've been loving spray leave-in conditioners over cream leave-in conditioners. The cream leave-in ones are too heavy and too thick, and I have very thin hair, if you guys can't tell. Weighs it down, makes it gross, makes you feel like I never even washed my hair. But the spray leave-in conditioners, while it's wet, I've been loving, and this is one of them. And if I saw it again, or if I remember to get one out, I would repurchase this. Although, I think that one came in a boxy charm. I'm not sure. My hands are disgusting right now. All right, that's that bag. Um, we're making, we're making some headway y'all. We're making some headway. Okay. Um, up next is the pharmacy deep sweep 2% BHA pore clean, cleaning toner. Um, I love this. I love pharmacy. If you guys have seen my videos before, or if you go back and watch my empties, I'll put it in the playlist. Um, I love pharmacy. I'm really considering bringing a lot of pharmacy to my salon and using it on my clients because I'm, I love pharmacy so much. I don't think I have one thing from pharmacy other than their um, cleansing balm because it's got, uh, I can't think of the ingredient in it, but it's like plastic or something that's not good for the environment in it. But that's the only reason why I can think of why I don't like that one. But the balm was good. But anyway, I'm in love with pharmacy. And I have, I've been really, really thoroughly enjoying pharmacy. Anyway. And it's a glass bottle, so it's like more sustainable, you know? Anyway, up next is the Function of Beauty Wavy Hair Shampoo and Wavy Hair Conditioner. This is the one I told you that I liked more than the last one that we just had. Um, it also depends on the drops that you put in, and I mix up the drops sometimes. And um, I think whatever I put in this one was just better, but I also just, I just enjoyed this one better. I don't know. That's, it might've been the drops. It might've been the formula of the wavy hair instead of the curly hair, but I liked this one better. So, um, the reason why we had curly hair is because my fiance had a perm and we wanted something to help with her curly hair. But the reason why we had wavy before that is because I have naturally wavy hair. So that's why I liked this one better. My hair liked this one better. Would I repurchase it? Mm, I don't know. Maybe. It depends on if I'm in a rut of finding something. I don't repurchase shampoo conditioner much very often, so it has nothing to do with this. It's just I'm going through them so much that when I repurchase, it's because I literally love it. And there's one down here that I'll show you that I've repurchased time and time again. And that's when I'm in a rut. Maybe in a rut, I would repurchase these. Next up is the Formula 18 Plant-Based Reinforcement Repair Oil. I love this stuff. I was very sad when it was gone. And it's Formula 18, or yeah, Formula 18. So this stuff's very pricey. If I remember correctly, I think it might be the only thing I've ever owned by them. Maybe even one other thing. But uh, I loved this stuff, y'all. And I would repurchase it again for sure. Okay. The dust. Up next is the Polish Choice Anti-Aging Clear Skin Hydrate of Niacinamide and Vitamin C um, for normal to oily combination skin. That's this here. I love Polish Choice. I haven't used anything by Polish Choice that I'm not a fan of. I use Polish Choice on my clients as well. As it, they've got such great ingredients in these. They're just easy, simple ingredients, but also so effective um, that I love Polish Choice. So I would repurchase this again. I would reuse it on myself and I would reuse it on my clients as well. Also, if you guys are wondering clients, I don't know if I mentioned this or not. I try to mention it in a video because not everyone watches my videos. Um, I'm an esthetician as well. I'm a bartender as well too, but I'm an esthetician. So if I say my clients, that's what I'm referring to because I do facials, waxing, things like that. Up next is the Levito Inspired by Nature Aroma, Aroma Aromatic Body Lotion. Um, this smells like summer to me. It smells like you should go to the beach. It smells like you're at a pool. It smells like something like that. Um, I did enjoy it. I liked the um, feel of it. I liked it didn't keep your hands sticky, things like that. But I'm not going to run out to get it. Do you know what I mean? Does that make sense? Up next is the Saltwater Breeze Creamy Body Scrub by Bath & Body Works. I love any body scrub. You cannot piss me off about a body scrub. It's really hard to piss me off about a body scrub. I liked this one. So there's that. But I like Bath & Body Works in general. So I'm a basic white girl. I know. 
It is what it is. Okay. Up next is the... Is there anyone in here? I think so. Suave Luscious Curl Shampoo with Amino Acid Complex. Cleanse and Nourish for Workable Curly Hair. Sulfate Free. I hated this. I didn't hate it as much as my fiance. She hated this. She was like, get, get it gone. And I was like, well, let me finish it. Let me finish it. Let me finish it. I was just saying my hair just never felt fully clean on this stuff. It wasn't... Uh, mm, that's all I got to say. I'm not going to buy it again. Not a big fan. Not a big fan. She really wasn't a fan, though. Up next is the Golden Sunflower. Oh, there's some in here. I'm wasting. Uh, and I know I liked this, but I, it might have just looked empty when I put it in here. This is the Golden Sunflower Shea and Vitamin Shower Gel made with sunflower seed oil. Um, I love this. I love, like I said, Bath and Body Works, Body Work, Wash in general. I'm a fan of. Great lather. Great smell. Doesn't break me out. Doesn't affect me. Love it. Great. It smells good. Up next is the Active Moist, an oil-free lotion containing botanical extracts that provides effective hydration without a greasy afterfill. This is the um, by Dermalogica. I love Dermalogica. I'm a huge fan of Dermalogica. I use it on my clients. I use it on myself. It's what I was learned, taught in school. But I love Dermalogica and I'm a big fan of it and... This active moist is great for oily skin types, but it's also great for non-oily skin types. Myself, I'm, I'm an oily skin type, but it's just so good. There's no greasy feel to it, but it feels so hydrating on the skin. If the frame changed y'all, I'm sorry, my fiance called me. Um, she's out of town. I don't know if I said that yet. It's my second video I'm making today, so. Uh, my other video was a, not that. My other video was a BoxyCharm video, so I'll have a link below. I always say I'm going to have it linked below and I never do it because I'm terrible. My memory's terrible. I need an assistant. Anyway. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll try to remember to link it below if you guys want to watch it. Okay. Um, I think I finished on the Dermalogica one. Love it. Great. Fantastic. Use it. Get it. Buy it. Love it. It is expensive though. Anyway, moving on. Up next is the Thera Breath Dentist Formulated Fresh Breath or Oral Rinse. I liked this one way better than the other one, but this has got a weird taste to it, so it's like an acquired taste. Um, but other than that, I did like it, and I noticed a difference. Up next is the Morphe X Jeffree Star Set Fresh Set and Refresh Mist Strawberry Scent. It's just the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray and Strawberry Scent because it was with Jeffree Star, but we all know that whole fiasco. I got him right here. I don't get into it. I don't care about it. It's all stupid. I don't want to talk about it. K, K, that's what I chose. All right, moving on. So I love this stuff. It's great. I actually prefer the strawberry scent. I mean, I'm not big of big fan of scented things like that, but I love this one. I do love the regular one, but I love this one. Okay, so there's that. I would buy it again if I saw it. I actually have it right here. Running low as well. So that'll probably be next time it's empties as well. Something fell. I don't know. Anyway, I do like it, but I'm not going to talk too much on it. Anyway, the um, Eucerin Sensitive Skin Redness Release Soothing Cleanser for Visibly Red Skin. I will have to ask my fiance because this was hers because she's got um, rosacea. Um, I'm not sure. It's all used up. I'm just not sure if she loved it or hated it or was indifferent about it. I'll post it on the screen here once I talk to her because I'm not sure. I can't remember what she told me about this one. So there's that. Next is the Honey Wash um, Nourishing Gel Body Wash by Pink, Victoria's Secret Pink. Again, it's hard for me to hate a body wash unless it just does not lather or does not do something like that men's one that we had. Um, smells great, was great, love it, into it. Good time for some, good for summertime as well. I would definitely repurchase it again, but like there's so many options that Bath and Body Works is like, why repurchase the same thing unless you're just in love with it? Up next is the. <laughs> Olaplex blonde, blonde maintenance can, can, blah, 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 blah. blonde maintenance and conditioner shampoo and conditioner. Um, I love this stuff. I got it in the sample sizes to try it, but I knew I was gonna love it. It's amazing. I want to try the purple shampoo next, but I want something affordable. I wish we could make something this quality and results of this one, but drugstore prices. I'm gonna buy this again. I need it. My hair loves it. It needs it. It wants it. I do switch it up. I don't use it every single wash. Um, I wash my hair a lot more than I should, um, but I don't use this every single wash. I do love it. I'm going to get it again. Maybe in the full size, maybe in the travel. We'll see. Uh, a couple more products left, y'all. Hang tight, okay? Next is the Coca Cabana uh, Sol de Janeiro. If you watched my channel before, you know that I love this stuff. I 
I love the Boom Boom Cream better, but I love this one too. So there's that. I got that little last drop out of there. <laughs> um, big fan. Love it. It's a little travel one you buy like on the checkout at Sephora. That's where I got that probably. Or in a boxy charm or something. I don't know. Um, yes. Okay. Love it. Great. Fantastic. We'll get it again. 10 out of 10. Recommend. Next is the Inky List <laughs> Beta Hydroxy Acid. Um, that's it here. I love the Inky List. Super affordable brand. I use it on myself. I use it on my clients. I'm a big fan. Also very simple. Easy. Great ingredients. To the point. Amazing results. Love it. Great on sensitive skin. Great on all types of skin. I'm a big fan. Big, big, big fan. Um, if you guys have noticed, I don't go into full details of like skincare and ingredients and things like that because um, I just don't think people come here for that. Um, I think they're coming here more for beauty hauls, things like that. If you guys do want me to go, ever go into detail on skincare and things like that, just say it in the comments below and I will definitely come up with videos more geared around skincare. Just say the word. I have posted like facials and stuff um on my channel so if you want to go scroll through and find those some of my services that i posted you're more than welcome to go look at that um i would love that but if you are interested in that and the reason why i like skincare ingredients and things like that i just don't want to bore you guys if that's not what you're here for does that make sense so anyway i love this stuff i love vinky list in general up next is the hangover replenishing face primer i did not like this when i first tried it many moons ago and then i tried it again and I have it in a full size. I thought I had it in a full size. Maybe I already used it. Maybe it's another end piece. I don't know. Tried it again. Loved it. I love how moisturizing it is. I did not. I don't know why. I, I'm, a, I'm a fan. I'm definitely a fan. I think it did great. I think it's very moisturizing. I love a good moisturizing primer because I'm so oily and it just helps like being like, hey, skin, you don't need to produce so much oil today. There's moisture here, you know? So I do like this. I would get it again if need be. You know what I mean? But I have so many primers. It's like. Up next is the Tarte Micellar Magic. I've been waiting to talk about this, y'all. I'm not going to go into too much detail, but I hate this. That's a strong word, but I do not. Mm -mm. Don't get me wrong. You get shit off. Use it here. Use it here. I use this for... I use micellar waters for my eyes to get mascara off. To get, do not get this in your eyes. Oh my God. I don't feel like my eyes are very sensitive and this killed my eyes. Every time I used it, you know, I will use shit. I'm going to use it up. Like there's nothing left in here. I'm going to use it up. But boy, did this was not fun on my eyes. Just stick to the Garnier Fructis one. Garnier Fructis. Garnier. You know what I'm trying to say. The Garnier Micellar Water or a different one. This one burns. It does the job. Don't get me wrong, but if you can get past the burn, it almost felt like it was like gritty, not gritty. Cause it's not gritty. It almost felt like rough on the skin too. Like not, no, not a fan, not a fan, not a fan. I do love the packaging though. Is this not the cutest thing you've ever seen in your entire life? I love you tart, but it's a no for me dog. It's a no for me dog. 10 out of 10 don't recommend. Okay. I thought I would end on a good note. Oh, wait. No, hold on. Oh, this is a good note, too. Okay, I'll end on this one first. Or not end. Do, whatever. Words are hard. This is the um, Everpure Sulfate-Free Color Care System um, Moisture Conditioner. I don't know where the shampoo is. It probably ended up in another video because I go through shampoo faster than I do conditioner. Call me crazy, but I do. Um, I just blanked out. I just had a stroke right on camera. Right here on camera, I had a stroke. Anyway, I love this stuff. This is the one I was telling you about that I repurchase in a bench. I repurchase in a bind. I repurchase in a bunch. This is the one drugstore shampoo and conditioner. This one, this color, this rosemary, everything. This one, this specific one. This one, I think the green one as well. But no, I'm pretty sure it's this one. I'm having a brain fart. I love ever. I love L'Oreal Ever Pure. I just, I'm a fan. I'm a big fan. It works. It does the job. My hair feels great. I think it helps my hair. Everything about it and it's color, it's to help with color too. This is the one drugstore that so far that I'm like, I'm rooting for it every time. And this is the one I will pick up. And they come in like little bundle deals too. Yeah, big fan. Big, big fan. Now, last and certainly not least, probably one of my favorite things, probably my favorite thing this whole entire video. Probably. Is the Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow AHA Resurfacing Night Serum. This stuff is 
Jesus in a bottle. This stuff is a miracle in a bottle. This is a Christmas miracle. I don't know why it's a Christmas miracle, but it's it's fantastic. Ugh, the pump, the bottle, the app, the everything. The everything about this. I want to say this has been in one of my empties before. And I raved about it then too. I could be wrong. I think I have another one as well. Yeah. So I just be going through these. And again, it's pharmacy. I freaking obsessed with pharmacy. It's becoming one of my favorite skincare brands. And I think I'm gonna, I really, I really think when I up my skincare at the salon, I'm gonna bring a lot of pharmacy too. Um, I just, I want my clients to experience it. And when they ask me what it is, they can go and buy it. I just, I really want, they should not be deprived of that amazingness. You know? Yeah. Anyway, um, that's it for today's video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed me and my craziness. And, um, yeah, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. It really helps out a little YouTube's algorithm. It really helps me to learn how to speak better. It isn't. Um, my words are always hard. Anyway, so um, give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out. You can do it down there. You can do it down there. Whatever. It's free. It costs you nothing. But if you enjoyed seeing me, then why wouldn't you want to see me again, right? Okay. Anyway, um, so yeah. I will see you guys in the next one. I appreciate you. I love you. I hope you all have a fantastic night, day, wherever you are. And I will see you in the next one. I won't see you, though. You'll see me. I wish I could see y'all. Okay. Love y'all. Bye, guys.